Uh, hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to design an in-plate beam column connection in Idea Statica software. Beam, uh, in-plate beam column connection is one of the most commonly used for earthquake resisting structure, which we usually call semi-rigid beam column connection. After moving resisting uh, beam column connection, we have in-plate beam column connection. So now let's start in Idea Statica. Uh, we have the idea static or software you can in the class you is here and from here you can use a single beam column and also double beam column connection so we will first using this meter and selecting giving a name and it's called uh, uh, in plate connection and selecting the design code you want so I want to use a uh, AISC code 13 and uh, here is different kind of uh, connection uh, which one you want I want to use a single uh, just end plate which is connected to the beam without any stiffener just with bolt create now uh, the um, uh, connection is connected we can see uh, it is actually in default with this uh, criteria is proper okay but uh, we want to check the load this is the load one and uh, which is about uh, uh, this is the shear force and this is the moment and this is also another moment positive moment and uh, negative moment so we have these two moment so in case if we assume this is correct and we want to see uh, this connection will pass the available data or not. We're going to check it first. In case if it didn't pass, then we will uh, bring some uh, changes to the model to the connection. Now the result is here and we can see the beam is not suitable for these loading properties. So mostly the flange areas fail. But this is not common when you bring an uh, analyzed beam column from uh, another software for design after you designed. Because we didn't design first the beam column, so just we are uh, intend to design the connection. So the beam is unfortunately unstable and it's failed. So we don't want to change other parameter except this beam. We want to go to this beam, it's member 2, we can go to edit. In edit, here is called shape. You can change shape. This is 16 by 30, uh, 36. So we want to extend a little larger. Let's suppose this one. Uh, maybe this one is also. Uh, it cannot pass. We want to a little larger. That will be good. So now we select it. In, in case if I go to back uh, you can see the first one this 60 the 60 is 400 the height and the length is 1718 and the thickness is 11 by 11 now if I go back to uh, the 14 45 now the flying thickness is increased by 40 millimeter so it's uh, exactly better than the previous one which we uh, about two millimeter extend the thickness of line but uh, uh, we're gonna accept it and we want to rerun and see how it work and now let's see the analysis completed and we got a very nice result we got a very nice result, but here is two uh, important thing. One is still this is the color uh, seems uh, in a very economical uh, design. Uh, this green is very optimal design, and that one is very over uh, uh, least strained design. It's an economical this line. So that means that some instabilities exist. So for this, we can add some extra stiffener in the columns that will be more better by adding that stiffener so the cost of the co uh, design uh, connection will not increase too much so we can go to uh, operation and 
create automatically here is called a stiffener. So we create a stiffener in this area. Now list C is about cost $100. Uh, now the thickness is 16. So I assume the 16 is okay. And I want to rerun and see how this can change the this flange is being called flange uh, stress. Now the analysis completed. You can see the color has changed. This color has changed uh, from uh, the uh, yellow color to to the green color. So the result is getting better and very acceptable. So now we can go to the check and see in the checking. Uh, we can go to the stress contour. And this is the stress contour, more, more, more stress is concentrated in this bottom, in this bottom. And we also can go to see the bolt forces. This is the bolt force in top. And, and also we can see the deformed shape. This is the deformed shape because the loading in the bottom side is very high. So you can see. And this is the deformation. Now we can also uh, see the plastic uh, strain. This is the plastic strain, which is mostly in this area. So for preventing this strain here, you can add some extra uh, uh, stiffener in, in this location as well. Or instead of uh, adding uh, end plate here, you can add one extra plate here and connect this, make it more stronger. Uh, this is depending to your uh, ability and experience how you can uh, provide a very uh, resisting beam column connection for your structure. So this is the end of tutorial and if case in case if you have any problem and uh, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. In the next tutorial we will use a moment uh, resisting uh, beam column connection. See you next time.